video of this channel. So normally my videos won't be in this chair. I'll normally be outside in my garden. I like to do DIYs. I have different projects I'm fixing on this house. Fish tank stuff. Um, but today I just kind of wanted to introduce myself and start off with what I'm going to call a change. I know that in this whole process of making videos, I want to get better health. I want to get more limber and do yoga. I have two herniated discs, so my body is kind of like fighting me right now. And what better time than during quarantine when we're all just at home. I also want to get to the point where I'm producing like 85% of my own food out of my garden and eating a primarily vegan diet, which is going to be very hard for me because I do love meat and I do love cheese, especially milk, so we'll see. Um, but today I just wanted to start off with something kind of crazy. So I am a cosmetologist, and we're all doing at-home haircuts. Um, yesterday we actually shaved the back of my head, and it's been a long-time dream of mine to shave my entire head, and I haven't done it for multiple reasons, but why not do it now? I'm not working, you know, stuck at home, have nothing else better to do, so I thought I'd share this process of becoming a new me with you. So, put this cape on. Getting nervous. <laughs> I hate the little hair. When I shaved yesterday, I had no idea. I think I'm saying shaved. I buzzed it off on it too. I had no idea how itchy men got when they were getting their hair cut. It was absolutely horrible. So this is the length of my hair I have now. I had an issue. I, I didn't ever get tested for COVID. Um, but my husband was sick in January and I was sick at the end of January, beginning of February, and I started losing a lot of hair. You can't tell it now because it's all growing back, but I'm talking a lot of hair. I thought it was going to be bald. So I would just like to get everything the same length and really just become a new me. So no turning back at this point, right? I'm not sure where I should start. Oh, this is so nerve-wracking. Okay. I guess you just start where you start, right? <sighs> to the new me. Okay, here we go. I can't see anything without my glasses. Oh, and I'm plugged it so. Now I do plan on growing this completely out again. Uh, this is not a I'm going to keep cutting scenario. <laughs> the one time adventure that I'm experiencing. I can tell you it's already really cool. <laughs> the air flowing on my head. Well, I'm going to pause this and have some help because this is ridiculously hard. I'm pulling my hair, so I will be back. Okay, we're done. I, okay. I love it for the fact that it feels cool. My hair is not hurting my head anymore. I don't have to wear a ponytail. Um, but I definitely don't look like myself at all. God, it feels so crazy. Anyways, this is my new beginning my new journey so we'll see what becomes of this hi editing Lindsay here i just wanted to pop in because i don't think i quite explained why i wanted to cut my hair good enough and also kind of regret not filming the whole thing but i know my husband doesn't want to be filmed to put on the internet so when he helped me i turned off the camera pretty much the main reason i cut my hair is because starting at the end of january beginning of february when we got sick with whatever we had because we were never tested at that point um i started losing a lot of hair and i've wanted to cut my hair sh like this for probably two years but i didn't do it for a lot of reasons one of the reasons is i knew i was not going to look good with a shaved head but i finally gotten to a point where i was like okay i 
want to start fresh. I want to start new. I want to watch my hair grow out. I want to have the experience. And when my husband said he would back me on my decisions and he would help me do it, then I was like, let's go for it then. Um, but it's a little bit more than that. Uh, when I first wanted to do this two years ago, it's because I hid behind makeup and I didn't feel pretty unless I was hidden because I didn't think I was pretty, didn't think I was worthy. And I'd already gotten rid of makeup. I don't wear makeup. I don't own makeup like at all. No lip gloss, mascara, anything. I don't own any of it. And it was like the last wall standing was truly believing I was beautiful without hair. And even though that's not the main reason anymore of why I did it, it's kind of been a miracle to my self-esteem because I know for a fact now that I'm gorgeous and my husband loves me more than ever, probably not because I shaved my head, but because I'm so confident in who I am as a person that I can take my hair that, you know, hides and covers everything and get rid of it and still be me and bubbly, hopefully. <laughs> but anyways, I just wanted to say that, but also I am loving it. Um, I think that it feels amazing. It doesn't bother me at night anymore. It's <laughs> amazing outside in the heat because I'm always in my garden. So it's been it's been a wonderful transition, but I'm excited to grow it out now. <laughs> excited to experience all the different links that it's going to be before it's finally back to the link that I wanted. And I'm glad that I can take you on this journey. So I will pass it back to past Lindsay because this is future editing Lindsay. So bye. <laughs> Tune in to the rest of my videos. I'm going to attempt to make them once a week, but I'd rather put out quality videos than quantity. So look for my video every Monday, but we'll see. Y'all have a great day. Thank you.